this is my 2018 Mac Mini. And this, well, this is my 2018-ish Hackintosh. In today's video, we're gonna be pitting these two guys against each other head to head to see which one actually comes out on top. And is it worth it to spend the extra money on a more genuine Mac Mini or is a Hackintosh enough? The general argument against Apple's Macintosh computers isn't necessarily aimed towards its operating system because to be honest with you, most Unix-based operating systems are in fact superior to that of Windows. But the actual argument is generally around the price tag of the hardware because a Macintosh computer is generally gonna cost around 2X that of the equivalent PC specification. So as many of us do in order to avoid Apple's high price tag premium, or the Apple tax, I decided to build my own Hackintosh Mini and see how it actually stacks up against the real thing. Okay, so since this comparison heavily relies on the actual cost of the two computers, let's go ahead and price out each one of these systems. Now, starting off with our Mac Mini, uh, I pretty much went with a standard build. I did end up upgrading the processor to the six core i7 that turbo boosts up to 4.6 gigahertz and the 512 gigabyte SSD. Pretty much everything else is left standard, such as the RAM, because I did decide to go with the aftermarket part. So as my Mac mini is currently configured, it actually comes in at about $1,500 and that RAM upgrade to upgrade it up to 32 gigabytes of RAM is actually gonna cost me an additional $200. Okay, so now let's go ahead and price out our Hackintosh system. Starting off with the motherboard, I went with the Asus ROG Strix Z370i gaming motherboard in the ITX form factor. Now the reason I went with this Asus motherboard is because generally Asus and Gigabyte motherboards, as far as their BIOS settings goes, are the most compatible for certain configurations when it comes to Hackintoshes. As far as the CPU goes, my Hackintosh has the Core i7-8700K processor that turbo boosts around 4.7 gigahertz, very similar to the Mac mini. And my Hackintosh the system also has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a 512 gigabyte Samsung 960 Pro SSD. And to house all of this Hackintosh goodness, I decided to go with the Inwin Chopin case. Now this case is pretty fantastic because it comes with a built-in 150 watt power supply, which is plenty of power to power the CPU, and I haven't run into any issues with it. And it also looks really nice and sleek and definitely has some nice metal and uh, plastic elements. Now, as far as my system is completely configured right here I have in front of me, it comes in at around $966.88. Once again, this is before taxes, but this is somewhere in the neighborhood of about a $700 difference between my stock or my uh, slightly upgraded Mac mini with the upgraded memory uh, versus this system right here. Okay, so now that we have both of our systems, both spec'd out and priced out, let's talk about performance. Now, when it comes to the Hackintosh mini, I didn't do any overclocking. Uh, number one, because it is using a stock Intel cooler and I didn't want to blow the system up, but also because the base and the boost clock is very similar to the uh, 2018 Mac mini, I wanted to sort of level the playing field just a tad bit. Okay, so when it came to synthetic benchmarks, we saw slightly higher numbers coming out from the Hackintosh mini. Now, I'm sure these numbers could get much, much higher if we went ahead and overclocked our system them, but for the most part, we saw higher numbers in Geekbench for both GPU and CPU performance. We also saw higher numbers in Cinebench R15 and R20 as well. Now, while these synthetic benchmarks did come out in favor of the 2018 Hackintosh Mini, as most of us know, this doesn't always tell the full story. Because when it came to real life use case scenarios, such as rendering videos in Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, we did in fact see faster numbers out of the genuine 2018 Mac Mini. All right, so another thing I wanna talk about between these two systems is of course stability and compatibility. Now, without question, we all know the 2018 Mac Mini is gonna be absolutely stable and compatible with pretty much everything because, of course, it's a genuine Mac Mini. Now, as most of us know, Hackintoshes are inherently unstable and they do tend to crash out. You can't really update them. You can only do but so much. Installing applications is generally okay, but you might run into a couple of hiccups. However, I will say, uh, these systems have come quite a long way. I've got to give big props to the guys over at Tony Mac X86 uh, for really bringing these systems up to a stable state. I mean, I still wouldn't use it as my main system. I'd probably still dual boot it with Windows or possibly have a backup system. However, uh, the machine itself does run pretty stable. And so far, I haven't run into any issues in running it for the last two months. Okay, so as far as my comparison between these two systems, I'm always gonna to lean towards the side of a genuine Mac Mini. I mean, 
obviously it's gonna be a much more stable. And as we can also see, the software is much more optimized for the hardware because despite having very similar hardware, we saw real life performance, uh, definitely in favor of the 2018 Mac mini. However, if you are in the market or you do feel like experimenting with Mac OS, I can highly recommend uh, this particular setup when it comes to a Mac or Hackintosh mini, I almost said Mac mini, a Hack mini or a Hackintosh mini. Uh, the guys over there, like I said, they're much more stable um, and the systems just work really well. And I think with a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of overclocking and possibly a GPU, uh, we could possibly get my Hackintosh Mini to run much faster and maybe beat out the 2018 Mac Mini. So that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, if, while you guys are down there, if you like this kind of video, slam on the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.